Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to put the Thingino firmware on a Wook camera. Stay tuned. What's up guys? It's Josh from the WL Tech Blog. Now today I've got the first camera that I'm going to show you how to put the Thingino firmware on. And this one is the Wook wired pan and tilt cam pro it actually has a model number of y0510 and it is available on amazon usually for around twenty dollars i've seen it up to about 22 they usually have coupons whatever link's going to be in the description so check that out this camera is pretty cool it's got some nice hardware to it let me go over the specs with you real quick so first off we've got the t31x processor which has twice the memory of the other variants it has the sc 4336p camera sensor and it has a sv6158 wi-fi chipset now what does that mean for you it's got more memory than most it has a pretty good sensor with really good low light performance and it has wi-fi that's not remarkable but it's wi-fi so the cool thing about this one is you don't need to take it apart in order to put the thingino firmware on it i worked out a way to flash it from an sd card with a script and putting the firmware image on there and i'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute so i really like this camera because among other things you can do the upgrade to the thingino firmware without disassembling it and because of that i'm going to go ahead and take it apart and show you what's inside because you won't have to now the disassembly on this you've got four little rubber feet i took mine out that you pop those out to get access to the screws all right now we got the bottom off and you can see here there's a couple of slots around the edge here and you can rotate the base in order to get access to the other screws there's four all right and with those four screws out the cover comes right off now on the tilt side here this one actually has a screw that's holding the two pieces together and the best plan is to go ahead and take this one out so the whole thing comes loose so i'll do that right quick and i'll go ahead and pop this one out all right with that out we can go ahead and knock this loose and then a little bit of pressure to get these two halves apart So on this side you can see there's a cover over the processor and i'll go ahead and pop that off now you probably can't tell the chip but that is an ingenic t31x over here we've got the sd card slot we've got the wi-fi chip this is the antenna and over here you can see these are actually the uart pins and after taking out the three screws on the back and removing the sd card this more or less pops right out so the only thing really interesting over here we've got a motor controller over here is the memory chip that you can see and that's about it and you're not going to have to mess with that because we're going to be doing an sd card upgrade so go ahead and put this guy back together and we'll get started if you do take yours apart make sure when you're reassembling once you put the cover back on that your sd card stuff all lines up properly i actually had that problem and had to tear the camera completely down and put it back together again with everything lined up here we've got the wook pan and tilt wired cam pro user's manual go ahead and open it up uh setting up the system says page five so let's see what it says we should do in order to set up the camera step one download the wook app register an account if you don't have an existing one how about no all right let's make this sd card so in order to do this you're going to need an sd card with at least 32 megs of space on it and pretty much any sd card you can buy these days is going to be measured in gigabytes not in megabytes so that shouldn't be a big deal so we're going to go over to the thingino repository here and we'll go down to releases go to firmware and what we want is the Thingino for the Wook Y0510.bin. So go ahead and download that file. Then over here we have both the script and the instructions for doing this process. So your SD card, you're going to want to have formatted to FAT32. If you're not sure, go ahead and just format it real quick and make sure. If it's XFAT, the firmware is not going to be able to deal with that. 
So the older FAT32 is what you want to have. So the file that you downloaded from the Thingino repo, you want to rename that to auto-update-full.bin and you want to go ahead and drop that into the SD card. You're also going to want to make a folder on the SD card of factory and it probably doesn't matter if it's in all caps but it looks for all caps and then you're going to want to actually save the contents of this script in that factory folder is factory underscore install dot sh so the easy way to save this script is going to be just to right click on here where it says raw to save link as and then go ahead and get that saved and put it into the sd card in this factory folder now just quickly looking over the script you can see what it's doing it's going to mount the sd card it's going to check for the existence of that auto update dash full if it's not there, it's going to say missing update. It's going to abort and exit. You're not really going to get any feedback on that. It's just going to not work. So make sure that you have that file in as auto update dash full dot bin. So the next thing it's going to do is it's actually going to grab the bootloader out of that image using DD, which is pre-installed on the camera already. And it's going to take the first 256K of that update image save it as this u-boot image then it's going to just do a quick sanity check here make sure the files it expects to see are there it's going to remove the file that says the flash has already been done if it's still there from a previous flashing a little output you're not going to see and right here is where it is going to replace the camera's bootloader with our own and then it's going to reboot now this obviously doesn't install the entire image because we just put the bootloader in however our version of uboot is going to look on the sd card for this file name and if it sees it it's going to go ahead and flash your chip directly from within the bootloader so that's going to get the installation finished right there from within uboot so once you get those together go ahead and cleanly remove the sd card and pop it into the camera and power it on It'll take about 10 minutes or so, and when it's done, you should see a Thingino device on your Wi-Fi network list where you'll be able to connect to it and set up your Wi-Fi credentials to get it onto your network. This little Woog camera really is a nice little unit, especially at the $20 price point and having that T31X processor. From a hardware standpoint, you would compare it to a much higher priced WISE camera and the differences between brands really don't exist once you've upgraded to Thingino. I was happily surprised when I opened it up for the first time and adding support for this model only took me a couple hours. I for sure wouldn't recommend spending extra on a WISE over this, but I do have a few WISE models that I'll get to soon. Well, this sure was an easy one, and I've still got a pile of cameras on my bench ready to create tutorials on. What would you like to see next? I've got indoor, outdoor, egg shape, square, I've got a doorbell. Some of these can be upgraded by SD, some by USB, and some require a flash programmer. Is there a particular method you want to explain? Let me know in the comments. Now as we wrap this video up, I just want to remind you to check out the introduction to Thingino if you haven't already. The project is completely open source and you can join us on GitHub, Discord, or Telegram if you need help or want to participate. We've got a bunch of other projects happening over on our Discord, and we welcome folks of all experience levels. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, we'd love to have you. As always, I've put all the links to everything down in the video description, and don't forget to subscribe to see the next exciting episode, and I always appreciate comments and thumbs ups. Until next time, stay fresh, cheese bags.